Hi, Pastor Nathan Decker with your Hashtag Better Together devotion, and we've been talking about what it means to belong, and I mentioned earlier that that to truly belong, we are welcomed, and, and we are included, and we are part of the group, but another part of this is that we are affirmed. We're affirmed, welcomed, included, and affirmed. Now, there is, a, a, throughout history, you can go back, in, in church history in particular, and see places where we, we, we welcomed people, but we didn't include them. Uh, I'm thinking about women and minority groups, especially in this regard. Or, or that we welcomed them and we included them, but we didn't affirm them. And in this place, I'm, I'm thinking about LGBT community and all that kind of stuff. Because, you know, you're welcome. You're, you, you can even be a part of our ministries. But, but, we're, but you know, we're not going to affirm your lifestyle. Jesus teaches us that we are not called to be the judge. We don't get to play God in that regard. We, we don't get to do that. So regardless of your perspective or your understanding of the biblical text or, or your understanding about homosexuality, we don't get to say who is who and who gets to do what and, and all that kind of stuff. That's not our job as church. Our job as church is to welcome people, include them, and affirm them. Affirm the gifts of spirit that we see in them. Affirm the way that God is moving in their lives. Bring them to a place where they can continue growing in life. It is my determination uh, as a pastor in our era to strive to get our body of Christ, the church, to be more like that, to be more like Jesus. Because think about the kind of people that Jesus loved hanging out with, whom he welcomed, whom he included, and whom he affirmed. He was willing to touch lepers. I'm not allowed to do that in those days. You know, there, there was this notion of kosher laws. He was willing to allow a woman who was bleeding for 12 years. That's a double-double there. You know, she's a woman for starters and blood. That's a no-go. But he allowed her to touch him. And his power offered her healing. He affirmed who she was as a human being. He affirmed lepers. And more than that, tax collectors and people whom the community saw demon-possessed and, and just evil, Jesus would wrap his arms around them. Jesus would hear them and have conversations with them. Jesus would welcome them, include them, and affirm them. Even Pharisees. Now, there's a group of people that we like to pick on. But Nicodemus was a Pharisee. The very grave that Jesus was buried in was one of the Sanhedrin, probably of a Pharisee, Joseph of Arimathea. You know, Jesus was willing to welcome, include, and affirm all kinds of people. The body of Christ on earth today, as a reflection of God's love and belonging, should do the same today. We're called to belong to one another. We're called to belong to God. We're called to offer a place for all belong by being welcomed, affirmed, and included together. Better together. Amen.